So we're now on chapter 206 and we're going to fix this block corner. There's a couple of ways of doing this. Um, we do need to enlist now the outliner tool. It's about time we started using that. And you'll notice that already it's starting to fill up. We've got a lot of bricks all listed down here. And we've got the foundation sitting at the very bottom and we've also got a lot of blocks. So what I'm going to do to start off with is we'll just make groups of these things. So I will call that group the below ground brick and we'll call this group the below ground block. So we can work inside of this so and sort of demonstrate on how flexible the outliner tool is. So we'll just select the top one and then it's shift select to the bottom, not select all the bricks. You notice the highlight in the model as well and either in the outliner or in the model I can right click and make group. As long as I'm right clicking over these objects, so I'll make a group. Now I've got a group there, so now what I want to do is right click and rename, because otherwise it'll just be a group. Whilst the component gives me the description of the component, the group will just say group unless I go in and rename it. So BG for below ground brick. So that's going to and I can minimize that, so like so, so that's all of those nicely controlled. And similarly, select and select, make sure you don't select the foundation. And again, right click on this this time and make group. Right click, rename, BG, block. So below ground brick and below ground block. So to get access to these things I can either double click on the model and I'm into the components or in fact I could select one of these. Now I don't know from this stack which one it, it corresponds to on this so often you have to sort of fish around or select it. Sometimes things are buried in objects so it's always worthwhile using the outliner to, to rename specific things if they are of value to you. Now this one I want to make unique because even though I could scale this, so if I just press the scale tool, there's S on the keyboard, and scale this in, whilst that would work to make it sort of a, a slightly shorter block, it now has a scale factor applied to it, so any modifications to any other of the blocks, um, as it's still the same component, is really going to put the scale factor adjustment on this as well. So that's not really um, a sensible way to work. So if I right click, double click first to get access to this one, select it, right click, make unique. Notice then it's got a little hashtag one next to it in the outliner. So under the entity info, we'll bring this into play now. You notice the definition says 140 block hashtag one. If I call that corner. Now this is 140 block corner. So now I know it to identify it. And now I can either double click on the outliner and that sort of gets it ready for editing. Use the push pull to bring it in to align with this. The last thing I've got to do now is put one of these in. So again as I'm working in this group I could create one outside of the group and drag it into the group in Outliner so that allows me to add to a group or I could just take one of these and we'll make a copy of it and we'll move it that distance and then push it another 10 mil. I will do another th similar thing to this so we'll right click make unique and then entity info we'll call this filler, so 140 block filler. So this is now unique and then I can select this double click and use the push pull tool to take it to this distance and then push pull 10. So now I've got my closer which is the same material as this so it's not going to affect the thermal properties of the wall and we've now built our 
brickwork and blockwork up to the damp proof course. So all I need to do now is just get rid of these. I don't need these anymore. So I can select those and delete. So next we can start putting in our damp proof course and start building up our slab and all the earthworks below it as well.